the impact of my connection to V2I on me and on the HHC work in general is that we we are we are brought a bit down to earth, so to speak. I think they realized that last year that um, my story can can be anybody's story. Open Homes for Children is a charity that was created in 1998 by a um, British officer and he saw the destructions that the war in the former Yugoslavian Republic brought about. He thought that he might be able to help them by rebuilding the orphanage. But when he asked the kids what they really wanted, they all said they wanted a family. So he realized that a children's place is not in an orphanage, it's with families. And he came to Romania, which at that time was um, really bad in terms of orphanages. There were 100,000 100, kids in orphanages in Romania and living in horrible conditions. So he thought that he wanted to make their lives better and close down those orphanages and try to find um, family alternatives for those children. Their main activity is uh, to um, close large institutions for children. As a result of the closure of the institutions, we open several family alternatives for them, like small family homes, or we try to find foster parents for the younger ones. Uh, but also we try to reunite families with uh, children from the institution, if it's possible, of course. The mission of Open Homes is much, much bigger than just working with kids or um, improving the lives of a specific number of children. But we're trying to reform the child protection system in Romania. We're also trying to change mindsets and try to um, make people understand that orphanages are a bad place for children all over the world. The young adults living in child protection system are the, one of the most vulnerable groups that we have to work with. They've lived in the child protection system and many of them lived in institutions for a lot of their lives and that brought about many disadvantages for them. They have troubles uh, properly relating to people, they have problems uh, acknowledging that they have responsibilities in adult life. Uh, they don't know how to relate to authorities properly, they don't know what to do in terms of finding jobs, they're not used to taking care of themselves because they have not really gained these skills. Um, and this makes them very vulnerable because they can be victims of tra human trafficking, they can become re easily um, introduced to drugs, they don't know how to hold a job because they don't like probably getting up in the morning or they, they don't like a fixed program. Uh, they don't know how to manage their finances because they, they almost never had their own money to manage. So um, because of these reasons, they really need support after they leave the child protection system. We have to teach them that they are important and uh, individuals, that they have their own personality, that they are good and that there is no difference between them and the other children. If they are strong enough, like mentally, <laughs> uh, they succeed. But in many instances they don't. That is why we have to support them to find their way in the future. Young adults usually don't share their past and their stories. That's something very intimate to them. I was amazed that last year they were able to share intimate uh, stories and issues about them with Venture to Impact, with the volunteers, because they felt that that was a very safe environment and they could share uh, stories and they realized that their stories are everybody's stories and that's amazing. The most important thing that I've noticed in terms of impact um, created by the Venture to Impact, Impact volunteers is the fact that it opens them up, it opens our youngsters up to possibilities and to being more courageous to interact with other people, to being more uh, communicative and to um, have the courage to face life to a certain degree because you come with some models experienced by people kind of like them, I mean closer to their age 
and they can relate to, to, these, to these things. I think this is the mo one of the most important things is that the fact that coming into contact with B2I volunteers um, helps them understand that they're not that much different than other people. They can achieve certain things because they hear so many personal stories that came true and it's inspirational to them, I guess. The impact of my connection to V2I on me and on the HHC work in general is that we, we, are, we are brought a bit down to earth, so to speak, because we work on such a higher level now, EU level, government level, uh, county authority level, that we sort of almost lost connection to the groundwork, to working with kids, with young adults. For me, um, during the past few years, because I've been only reporting for donors and not getting into contact, contact much with kids and young adults, the kind of, there was a kind of a, a breach into that connection. My connection with Venture to Impact helped me reconnect that or mend that breach. And now I do have a chance to work with young adults and with kids, which I love. I've always, always loved it. This is the reason why I joined Hope at Homes in the first place. So it kind of brought, it did bring back good memories, helped me make some more good memories, and now I, I am doing what I love again. For myself, it gave me, and I think Joanna as well, gave us uh, the opportunity to work more and have more time with the children and with the young adults. In the past, we worked more closely with the children and young adults, but uh, as time passed by and we developed more and more projects, uh, it seems that our time, like uh, direct activities with the young children and adults, are not that frequent. And this uh, program gave us the opportunity to work more with them. The kids and the young adults are always looking forward to this experience, this summer experience with V2I and with HHC. Uh, they constantly ask about their friends. Um, they have been improving their English just to be able to talk to them. And they tell their friends in the house. So every year we have a few new faces joining the program, which I think is great. I think the V2I people are dedicated. I think they uh, are inspirational. I think they're hardworking. Um, and I think they're doing the right thing and are on, on the right path. Their heart is in the right place. Um, the V2I people are um, an inspiration to others. And I think that no matter what country they go to or what program they're in, they are, will always be children or young adults in need of their support and their uh, guidance and their help.